My name is Samara Wolfie. I'm raising money so that no child ever has to hear again that their parents have cancer. When I was nine months old, my mom was diagnosed with a very aggressive type of cancer. And the surgery resulted in her becoming barren, which means that I'm an only child. When I was six years old, my dad had a grand mal seizure and was rushed to the hospital. And they found that the grand mal seizure was caused by a brain tumor, which they removed. When I was nine years old and my dad told me that he had cancer, I already knew what it was like to have a parent who had cancer. And the first thought that popped into my head was, not again. So I was nine years old and I already knew what those words meant. It meant months, a year of my dad on the couch, pale, bald, sick, not being able to look at me, or barely being able to speak to me, not being able to play with me, or hug me, or even lift me up, because I was too heavy for him. It meant the whole school knowing that my dad was sick. It meant everybody looking at me with pity in their eyes. It meant going to school and being with my friends and knowing that I was so different from them that I would never be able to understand what their lives were like and they would never be able to understand what my life was like. It meant everything changed. It's an isolating thing to have a parent with cancer. It makes you understand what pain is. It makes you understand that life is temporary. It makes you lose the innocence that comes with childhood much too early. When my dad was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, the average relapse time was a year, maybe a couple months. A year was optimistic. But because of the money that people who fundraised before me gathered, it has now been eight years without a relapse. I got to go through high school with a dad that was healthy and alive and okay. And I got to tell his story in retrospect. And I want to do that for someone else. I want to be that person. I want to make sure that no other child has to know their parents' own mortality should never be something that a nine-year-old should understand. So please, please help me make sure that this never happens again.